saying though um there's a best friend that wants you to fail but yet they build you up to learn from you and then once because you've always been the person to succeed in this situation okay with your friend this friendship okay so we're taking it off of the relationship part now we're talking about a friend so this friend, you know, this could be a friend that you've been friends with for a very long time since kids or just a friend of a friend, like as far as, well, not a friend of a friend. Your moms could have been friends and it caused you guys to grow up together. Either way, however it goes. And like I said, my readings are general. So if you know for a fact that your friend is solid and you don't get funny feelings about your friend, don't try to apply this to your friend, okay? But if you know that your friend has been shysty, you know, they show them type of signs. You've had arguments with them and they've revealed to you that they're this type of person. This is most likely for you, okay? And Spirit is wanting you to take heed to the fact that you keep putting yourself around people that don't like you or that don't want to see you do better in life or they don't want to see you excel. They don't want to see you get more than them. They don't want to see you in a better car than them or a better house than them. They don't want your house cleaner than theirs, okay? This is that type of friend. This is a friend that's jealous that you always get good men. Well, I'm going to say you always get good men. You always get better men than they do. Okay. Your, your men always end up loving you and caring for you. I feel like this is a friend who's always one night stand or one night stand it or hit it and quit it. Okay. Or it could possibly have multiple baby daddies or baby fathers. I mean, baby daddies or baby mamas. None of their situations work, work out. It's because they have a bad spirit, a bad heart, and their intentions aren't pure. And when you, your intentions aren't pure, shit ain't going to never work out for you. Okay. We got DM, DF robbed you of love. So this could be, this not could be, this is for a masculine watching this video. Okay. If a masculine is watching this video about his divine feminine, this is your energy. You're feeling robbed of love and trust. You are typically not the type of person to give your love out. And this can resonate as well with a divine feminine. You could flop it for your masculine. You're not the type of person to, that usually trusts easily or gives in quick, okay, in the past. Like, I feel like for some of my viewers, you could have been a real player back in the day. You could have just been a type that never just put your eggs in one basket. But this person came across you and they really like blinded you they made you do things you ain't never did they made you say and put up with shit you never thought you would have put up with ever okay but somebody had a point to prove while they were dealing with you i feel like you definitely uh because of how strong you are like i said this is what you guys are both not what each other is used to. I feel like your person is used to an easy going type of energy. Somebody who's always down to do what they want to do or is always down for their ideas. They just, they're into, they're used to having pers people submit to their decisions or what they want. Okay. And you're used to the same thing. Or if not, if that's not the case, you're just used to pretty much, you know, not being attached to people. I feel like this person really made you be attached to them. And for some of you guys, you're you're using that energy of, oh, I never felt like this or I never reacted like this before. Or I never, somebody, I ain't never been this in love. I ain't never been this dumb. Well, you ain't never been this dumb because God had to send you a, a real good lesson this time to show you that, to humble you. Some of you guys were breaking hearts as well. Some of you guys were very unhumble when it came because some of you guys that's watching this, you cute as fuck. I'm not saying that if that 
you know, everybody ain't cute as fuck, but there's viewers that are watching this that are very much so eye candy to the public, okay? I feel like you turn heads every time you take a step. You could be in a bonnet and you could have stains on your shirt from cooking. You turn heads every time you step, okay? You're very attractive with little to none of makeup, okay? Somebody has naturally long eyelashes. They don't even need fake eyelashes. Somebody's very, very beautiful and you used your beauty a lot to get what you wanted, I'm hearing. Somebody was definitely persuasive, very persuasive with their looks. So somebody, so spirit had to humble you, feminine, okay? So this is for you, feminines, that were hurting people in the past. And now you're getting hurt. It's not necessarily, it's karma, but it ain't. It's like karma slash, I got to prepare you for what's to come. Because some of you guys were not used to being in love or have never been in love or love for real until you met this person. Okay, but somebody is needing to let go of him now. Okay, so somebody is pregnant and they're not wanting to let go due to the fact that they're pregnant. And for some of you guys, if you are pregnant and you don't feel that way, it ain't for you. Okay, because I know that how mean pregnant women are. Some me personally, when I was pregnant, I didn't want nothing to do with my baby daddy. Like I didn't. I'm. I don't know. I just. I don't like the man energy when I'm pregnant. Okay, for some of you guys, you. Ain't had no issue letting your person go while you're pregnant, but you're having an issue letting go of the memories, the feelings, the hurt, the you being used to cuddling with this person at night or just used to being able to pick up the phone and vent to them, talk to them, express how you feel, express your thoughts and concerns. You know, you just missing having somebody that you could just communicate with, but you're also understanding and realizing that, um, you know, your days is cold without him, but you hurt him while you with him, like Ashanti said. You know, your heart can't take no more. I keep on running back to you. So somebody's feeling like, you know, damn, why the fuck do I keep on being attracted to this man like a fucking magnet? And he hurting me, okay? And this could resonate with you even if you're not pregnant. Somebody don't, somebody feels like they're under a spell because they've never loved this hard. For some of you, that is the case. And for a lot of you, it's not that. It's just that, you know, it was your time to experience what it feels like to really be in love and really be hurt. Somebody thought they was hurt in the past with shit, but that was puppy love. That wasn't the real thing. Okay, we got lost in the wind. So this is how your person is feeling at the moment. And this could be how you're feeling feminine as well. Your energy could be very uh, clouded lately or from the weekend up until now. And that's just, like I said, that's you guys. Some of you guys are feeling your twins energy. And some of you guys are just... Um, like I said, cleansing out old emotions that was in your subconscious that you never really took the time to d deal with. You guys got to understand every time you put yourself in a pointless connection and somebody robs you of your dignity, they do leave baggage. They do take pieces of you too. So you, some of you guys choose not to deal with that. Some of you guys use relationships to not face other relationships and what I mean by that is you'll get your heart broken and then go get in another relationship and you ain't even got time you ain't even had time to process that relationship look over it uh, spell check that relationship that you just got out you just jump into something new and then you get into this new relationship and they fuck you over even worse and you get hurt again and you jump to something that's new and then this person break you down to no return it's because you are you you not when you get your heart broken you're supposed to sit down and evaluate that for a minute you ain't supposed to just jump jump right into another energy because first of all you sore your heart is sore you bruised up somebody literally could be bruised up from a relationship somebody could have an abusive partner but you know you bru you're you're bruised up used up and then you go give your broken self to somebody else and because you broke nine times out of ten people can see and they don't even have to and for some of you guys too when you don't fully heal, heal your heart, you guys got to understand the, in, the energetic part of heartbreak, okay? Some of you guys can't realize why when you start talking to, to a person, how you instantly... Some people have been ghosted. Some of my viewers, you've been talking to people and they just ghost you for no reason. Sorry, I just burp. I don't know why I burp every time I do readings, but <laughs> the shit is weird. <laughs> but yeah. Some of you guys are have been being ghosted by new lovers lately. And that's because these lovers can see that you're still damaged. Some of you guys are bringing and accusing them of things that your person did. And some people is just like, uh, yeah, I'm good. Because 
For some of you guys, the people that are being sent to you are healed men and they are they've learned to pay attention to the red flag, something you guys haven't fully paid attention to or finally well not finally but some of you guys ain't really realizing that the whole point of this last relationship you got out of was to be able to heal and be able to defer the real from the fake it was to teach you self-love because a lot of you guys didn't have self-love you you could say all day i love myself but if you love yourself you ain't gonna keep letting nobody keep have you lost in the wind you know keep fucking with you to prove a point or you ain't gonna keep fucking with a person that's breaking your spirit to prove a point to the next motherfucker okay so that's that with that but um damn i just got lost track of fucking thought man i hate that <laughs> bear with me y'all every time i get to channeling something and going to something else i forget something i'm sorry so i didn't just forget what i was just talking about hopefully it comes back to me but okay, we'll move on. Um, somebody's definitely in need of saving money. Really apologize if y'all was into what I was just saying and I just forgot I completely just had a complete brain fart. Somebody could be suffering from short-term memory loss or somebody was abused severely by a person and they suffered some brain trauma which possibly causes a viewer to forget easily or be talking about something and then you just completely forget because that's not usual for me so for that to happen that's just telling me that somebody that's watching this video is going through that okay but somebody's definitely needing to save money viewer i feel like this is you i feel like you're spending tremendously you're you're not somebody gets food stamps and we're not down talking nobody that get food stamps or down talking anybody that's on housing okay i don't want to see no comments like i ain't no food stamps i don't want uh, uh, uh. Because stop putting people down and have to get government assistance. Ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? Everybody is not fortunate. Everybody don't have the same life path. And everybody don't got the same mindset that people got. Everybody is not strong enough to go out and get it on their own, okay? Not harbor. I'm not saying that's okay for people to be that way. But we're not down talking nobody on food stamps or housing, okay? So don't put no comments like that. <laughs> but either way, somebody got food stamps and... They're not eating the food in their house. They're spending their money on fast food every night when they got a fridge full of food. Definitely stop that, okay? Save your money, stack your bread, because a lot of you guys don't realize that you're CEOs of your own business and all the funds that are being rewarded to you, whichever way you're getting it, you need to save it to help you keep that income coming in, if that makes any sense, okay? The mind is a powerful being, okay? So... I want everybody to understand this. Your mind is definitely the magic. Okay, when they say magic ain't real and all this, it definitely is, okay? And what the the number one thing that where we were what, what fucked us up as a collective as a a world for generations and generations was the miseducation on the mind, okay? What a lot of people don't understand is our mind is the generation of magic, the generator for magic. It's like you put something in it and you can get something else out of it, okay? Whatever you think definitely comes to fruition, whether it's tomorrow, today, the next month, yesterday, the year, a year ago. I didn't mean to say yesterday, but a year ago. I mean, not a year ago, a year later. It don't matter. Whatever you think, it can manifest, okay? So somebody's needing to understand, just like I said in the beginning of the video, Quit worrying yourself into negative situations because a lot of the shit that happens to you guys is due to your mental creating these scenarios or you just having that negative feeling and then that manifests, okay? So somebody's really needing to read on the power of the mind, read on manifesting. Just somebody's needing to watch documentaries on how powerful the mind is. There are a lot out there. I highly recommend the app Gaia. They have so much educational things on there that will help you guys understand a lot of different things. All right. Also, I was going to ignore this, but I'm not. There's a somebody's ex- best friend secretly wants to be with you they feel like they want to shoot their shot now that the coast appears to be clear with you feminine okay somebody's also dealing with somebody new 
that is telling them they would like to date first. Somebody, you viewer could have, you know, tried to engage in a sexual encounter and this person, they kind of probably turned you down, but it wasn't like that. It was just that, you know, they don't want to, they don't want you to feel like this relationship is about sex. They want you to understand that they're not dating you for your vagina or your dick. They dating you for you. And some of you guys may have got offended by that, but he's really, or she's really looking out for the greater good in their relationship. Like I said, spirit is sending you guys people that are healed, that know how to pay attention to the red flags and want to do things different from their last relationships. Okay. So if you guys are knowing that this is you, or you know that you still ain't, fully healed i would suggest that you guys hold off on dating at the moment until you're ready to be i don't know why i wanted to say pure but okay somebody until you're ready to be pure but for some until you're ready to not be damaged to somebody who's healed okay some of you guys are going into these new relationships still damaged from your last and you're finding yourself doing shit that you did in that last relationship and it's because you ain't fully healed and some of you guys are pushing away good people so definitely take it slow and date your person don't go in on the sex i don't care if you just horny as fuck you're gonna have to pleasure yourself for a little bit because yeah <laughs> what else is going on we got the jury will vote in your favor. So somebody is fighting a court case at the moment. You're worried as fuck. This could be you, viewer, or this could be your person. But this is the spirit world. Somebody has been praying. Or somebody could be just going through a lawsuit or a divorce battling between, you know, who's getting what, who going to get leave with this, who going to leave with that. Spirit is telling me to let you know they got you, boo. Okay? Also, if someone's mother passed away, I, that, that she's letting me know too. I got you, baby. I got you, sweet pea, sweet cakes, okay? I'm hearing Boo Bear. Okay, there's mothers trying to come through and and send messages to you guys. Someone said, I always love you. Somebody's mom likes lemon cakes. They would like for you to make a lemon cake just so they can smell it. Because they, I feel like this mother energy is in your home, okay? And they like lemon cake, so... Or they could have taught you how to make lemon cake. Somebody's mother likes pumpkin pie or granny likes pumpkin pie. But either way it goes, somebody has a dead relative that is working this court case out for you okay they pulling strings in the spirit world they're working overtime to make sure the things go in your favor so stop worrying then we got baby you give me a natural high all right this is your ex energy this is your ex remembering how you made them feel okay a lot of you guys this person is single at the moment you may not know that somebody had a silent breakup and the public doesn't know about it. So to everybody, it appears that they're still in a relationship. But him and this person, whoever they were dealing with, that's not you. They decided to break things off quietly until they can get their heads on straight. Because I feel like this is a couple that people depended on, also looked up to, also was a power couple so this could be a famous couple i'm picking up on too or you could be famous watching this or you could be in the limelight somehow you don't even have to be famous you could just have money and either you are the person like you could be the person that broke it off like you could be going through the relationship I mean, not going through the relationship. You could be the one in the relationship and you guys decided to break it off silently because you don't want to embarrass yourselves or embarrass your community or embarrass your family and friends or kids, okay? We get caught in the moment thinking about you. Somebody, but, okay, so now this is going back to anybody in a third-party situation. I feel like um, a silent breakup occurred because a woman walked in and seen their lover in a very emotional state and that was the last straw for them okay somebody is telling your ex everything about you is bullshit okay i somebody is letting a person have it at this current moment whenever you're tapping into this video okay if this is matching you somebody is tired of watching the person they love be in love with somebody else in they face somebody feels like they can't save money because they're in a connection with a certain person as well. 
So take that how it resonates. If you know it's your if you if your person is with a person that has a lot of family that they care for or just have a lot of people around them or always got their hand out. They feel like ever since they've been in a relationship with this person, they can't save any money. They feel like they got with this person because they were able to make money with this person. But they're realizing that they can't even save money in a relationship with this person. Somebody is spend, spending all your person's money. We got my heart aches for you. So I feel like your person, so this is third party energy now. If you're the person that is not with the, you're not you're the single one and your person is still in a connection with somebody else as far as you know i feel like your person has confessed to this karmic energy she don't even have to be a karmic she could just be the other woman okay and she don't have to be a wife whatever she could just be the other woman i feel like he's confessed to her she caught him either you know crying on some emotional shit. i feel like she was at work somebody's a, a cna a nurse somebody works the graveyard shift Okay, or your person could be dating somebody that has that type of job as well. And I feel like she came home earlier than he expected. Either somebody's person caught their masculine masturbating to your pictures or masturbating, period. Um, I'm hearing to your video. So somebody had, if you guys recorded a sexual video with your ex, I feel like this person plugged in the HDMI cord and connected they they wanted to see it on the big screen they thought they was home alone nobody was gonna see or hear and they put y'all video up on the tv man and this person walked in and saw that shit and they was like hell the f you got to get the fuck asap okay and this is a karmic that now this is a karmic energy I'm picking up on because I said karmic so this person must be karmic this is a karmic that realizes, they've realized all along that your person was all about you, but they ignored it because, hey, the person was settling for them. So they looking at it like, well, he's with me. So I don't care how the fuck he feel about another person. He with me. So that's all that matters. So they took that and ran with that. And I feel like this right here, even if they've been dumb as dirt for this person, they're tired. This, this was the last straw. One thing you're not going to do is beat your meat in my motherfucking house on my motherfucking couch. Somebody is petty as fuck gonna say, you not finna bust a nut for this bitch on my couch. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's not petty because I say the same thing, but somebody's looking at the deep part of it like, oh, so you coming for this bitch on my couch? Like somebody is really, really aching over you and they don't care at this point how it shows. They're going to do what they want to do regardless. Somebody's dealing with a download DM, of course, okay? This could be a download. This person could be download due to a mental illness, okay? And this mental illness could have occurred because, like I said in my other video, there is a collective of energies that I've been picking on that have been severely touched and molested as a kid, which caused them to have this sexual complex within themselves and... You know, from time to time, they dibble and dabble with the same sex. Also, this karmic that is off her rocker could be on the down low as well. She could be just realizing that she would rather be with a woman. She's just, this is a karmic person who has had too much bad experience with men. And she's just thinking about sticking with women. She could have always been into women, but... This relationship, like I said, it was a lesson for all three of you guys. Or if it's just you, you could be bisexual thinking about just sticking to just women, okay? Spirit is telling me if you're that, if that's you, Spirit is telling me don't let somebody, don't let a fucked up experience change your heart and your soul and, and turn your light off. I'm not saying that anything is wrong with being gay. I'm not bashing anybody that's gay. But the, as far as we know, the normal way is man and woman. And if you're only going to deal with a woman because of what a man did to you and hurt you, that ain't right. Deal with women or deal with men because that's something you want to do. That's something within you, not because you feel like you can't get nothing better or you keep getting the same results. Well, you keep getting the same results because you keep on allowing the same shit and you're not seeing the bigger picture in the middle of the situation. Hey, I was addicted to the way you pretended. So this is for you, viewer. I feel like, you know, you knew your person was bogus as hell. You knew they was messy. You knew they was a cheater. And if you didn't know they were a cheater, as the relationship persist, per, persisted on, you continued to 
deal with them knowing that they had a lot of red flags. You've caught this person doing shit before and you knew this person was pretending, but like the pro the same problem that this masculine had with the karmic in, when, in the beginning of the video when I was explaining that they both had to teach each other and they both were staying with each other because they were content and it was comfortable. You did the same thing. Only a, you were the person that was like enough is enough. You were you broke the cycle. So clap for yourself, okay? The best revenge is leaving him completely alone. Spirit wants you to know that for those who are wanting to get revenge. Okay, and then I got DM going through a divorce separation now. So like I just said, <laughs> a silent breakup has occurred. But I don't think nobody knows. It's not on social media because... I'm not going to say they don't know for sure if this is what they want, but like I said, it's embarrassing. Somebody really went against the grain for this person that they were married to or in a relationship. Now, if you're the person that's married to your person watching this video and you know your person ain't with you, don't get offended by it, okay? This is per mo most likely the person that is on the other side of the relationship that they are separating from. Okay, so flip it how it matches your life, but don't try to squeeze the puzzle piece in if it don't fit, okay? So if you're a, a, a collective of people that your person was married, okay, and you, whether you came in first and they got married after or you were on the side and you already knew they were married, it doesn't matter. I don't judge anybody because you cannot help who you love and you cannot help who you run into. You cannot help who you sign up to go through an experience with, okay? That's what people don't get. People always looking at home record or um, karmic, the wife, whatever. It ain't about that. Some people get married to their karmic because they have to learn how to escape that energy without the universe's help without being babied, okay? So everybody that is a wife was not meant to be a wife for a long time. They were meant to be that wife to secure that position, to secure that lesson. And then once the lesson is learned, the blessing comes in for the both. So I hope I explained that correctly for those who feel some type of way when they hear the whole wife and side chick scenario. Neither one of you guys are more important than the other if you both are being cheated on and abused equally, okay? So at this point, it's just a title. In this generation, people have definitely beat down the value of marriage. They only get married nowadays to lock down uh, security, lock down finances, lock down somebody they can control. It's not about marrying somebody for love anymore. It's about keeping somebody that they know going to stay around in case it don't pan out with this situation. Or if these girls end up not wanting me, I know I still got my wife to come back to. That be the reason people, uh, it's a lot of little boys getting married to women. Okay. And what I mean by that is a lot of little boys in a grown man body that are marrying grown ass women in a grown ass woman body. So take that how it resonates, but definitely if your person was married, they're definitely either starting the process for the divorce or talking about it, or they've just both met each other halfway in the situation. Can you meet me halfway? Right at the borderline is where I'm gonna wait for you. Okay, somebody is just like, you know what, look, let's just come, we, we just need to understand that we ain't been happy with each other for a while now. It just ain't been that. And... You know, I can't help it. What do we do? Do we keep let keep letting the kids see us fighting? Or do we keep letting the kids see me not coming home? Or you crying? Or me sleeping on the couch? Do we keep putting the kids through that? Somebody's having that discussion with their spouse right now. And if your person ain't got kids with their person, they're just having a discussion on do we keep faking this? I'm so unhappy. Somebody is aging like crazy. Somebody looks... Like they've aged 10 years. Somebody could be in their 20s looking like they in their 40s. Somebody done lost a lot. Look, bad breakup. Somebody done lost a lot of weight over a bad breakup. And we got internet. So this bad breakup eventually is going to make its way to the internet. It's just probably not there yet. Miserable energy up. Somebody's breaking up with somebody because they're too miserable in this connection. Like, 
oh this woman looks and that's why i picked this picture for this card because this woman looks so like she just looks like oh and i started hearing lord please save her for me just do this one favor for me I had to change my mate. I mean, I had to change my play away. It's got way too complicated for me. I hope she's waiting for me. Okay. Somebody is feeling like now that this bad breakup is on the rise, they hope you're waiting for them. They hope God has saved you for them. They hope you ain't went too far in your healing process by the time they catch up to you. Okay. Also, somebody is going through a bad breakup over some cheating over the internet or somebody messaging them information over the internet. The internet has an involvement in this divine masculine's life, okay? So the divine masculine major narcissist has showed up in the reading to, to confirm his name, okay? We're definitely talking about the masculine. Somebody could have um, figured out that somebody got fingered via internet and somebody's needing some family support. Or somebody could have, somebody's divine masculine could have fingered a fake friend. And this is causing, so I feel like this could this could be for you, viewer. If you know you got that type of friend or you've been getting in vibes, this could be that situation. Or this masculine could have been fucking with one of the karmics. And the reason I'm calling her a karmic is to kind of just separate who I'm talking about. But the, they person that they would don't necessarily have to be a karmic. Okay, but there are karmic women energies I'm picking up on. So just it's thousands of people all over the place. I don't know whose energy I'm pulling, but this karmic woman that this masculine was with, he could have been fucking with her friend on the low. Okay, she had definitely had a fake ass friend that wanted her man, wanted her friend's man. Also, this could be you. Like I said in the beginning of the video, somebody's dealing with a very, very fake friend that wants their life. And somebody could have found, look, we got same gender, sexual activities and threesomes, full of resentment, unprotected sex, divine feminine. Somebody's just wishing they were a kid again. Okay, I feel like this is the karmic woman. She's very, very upset today, okay, on this, what is it, Wednesday, on this Wednesday night. Even if it's when, it's not Wednesday when you're seeing this, they upset, okay. This karmic woman found out that this major narcissistic masculine has been living his best life when he ain't around her. Not to mention she had to walk in on him masturbating or crying over you or thinking about you. Something that involved you. It has her very resentful of what she's allowed over the years with this person. She feel like, motherfucker, we got bills and balances due. We broke as hell and you got the nerve to be masturbating at this current moment while I'm out at work busting my ass to bring home money to pay the bills and you got the nerve to be masturbating are you fucking serious okay somebody is full of resent oh I, I sung that melody all wrong I'm much too full of resentment okay I can't pretend like However, Beyonce said it. She's tired of pretending like she ain't hurt. Somebody's tired. Somebody's karmic could have this type of hair. I could definitely be talking to a black woman or a, a mulatto woman. But either way it go, she's feeling like, I bust the windows out your car. Although it didn't mend my broken heart. I'll probably always have these ugly scars. Okay, this is how you were feeling though. You was feeling like you wanted to bust some windows out the car when he decided that she was a better option than you. Or if you, if you weren't in a third party situation, just when your person decided that the outside world was more important than y'all relationship, or they just couldn't get their cheating under control. They couldn't stop having threesomes and stop dealing with bisexual women that like to get busy and he can watch. Okay. Now this, this also, this karmic is very resentful that you got this man's heart and she, she's definitely put in more work than you feminine. I will say that. Okay. Whether you agree or not, she didn't put up with a lot. She didn't dealt with a lot. She didn't seen a lot. He didn't confided a lot in her. She didn't had a lot on her heart dealing with this masculine. She's held a lot of his secrets in. She's let a lot of things slide. She's ignored a lot. She's had to keep her mouth shut. 
some of you guys as karmics know that the masculine is gay and she's still dealing with it because he's her her he's like her life source he keeps the money coming in he keeps you know he keeps her strong i feel like without she feels like without him, this masculine she'll be homeless I feel like this was a karmic that was hopping house to house before she got with this mess. And she didn't have shit. He elevated her. He definitely did. Okay. And it was like a tray for a tray. He saw the weak in her. She saw the strength in him. So he used her weakness. He made sure she was straight and had everything she wanted and desired. But in return, you got to make that money. You got to be my slave. You got to shut your chakras down. You got to clog up your throat chakra you can't speak on how you feel you gotta be quiet so it's like she basically sold her soul to your masculine okay because she didn't she this she keeps running this karma keeps running into men like this she keeps running into men that she needs not that men that need well he needed her too he just did a good job at showing her he didn't now for some of the karmics um they're realizing since you're gone and you're not in the picture no more they're realizing how much he actually needs her, okay? She can see that now because with him going through karma for how he's done you and other women, he's losing a lot. He's broke, and he's depending on this karmic for a lot of shit. And because she's in that energy of, I'm going to stick beside him, well, she was in that energy. She was willing to go out and be the breadwinner while he's down. But one thing she's letting him know that she's not doing no more, she's not sitting up providing and busting her ass, risking her freedom or however she do to get money just for this nigga to be sitting at home comfortably while she's out putting in 40, 50, 60 hours on payroll to bring in this money. You at the house depressed. I'm 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 busting my ass to pay this light bill that you you flicking my lights on thinking about the divine feminine. This is how petty her man is. I mean, I probably think like that too, but you you using my motherfucking water, washing your hands from getting re from getting done masturbating over this feminine. I was gonna say this bitch because that's how she refers to you, viewer. You using water? I'm busting my ass to pay for it to wash your hands after masturbating. No, you can go be with her, okay? She's had enough. She's fine if she ain't saw. It, it, I don't know why, what it was, what what particular, in particular, that made her realize this time. But this time, she's like, okay, this this is just, this has gone far enough. On top of her having friends that are telling her this ain't a good connection, but she been ignoring them because this is her man and she gonna stick beside him. And he got a flashy car that they is having a hard time paying the car note on. Somebody's masculine is very materialistic. He definitely uses um, diamonds and chains and golds and cars to get his women and just to look rich, but he really not. Okay, he ain't rich at all, but he feels like these type of cars make him appear that way which attracts clientele which attracts women whatever his hustle is but this is why this karmic person didn't want to walk away either she liked that energy of damn girl your nigga got a good ass car his car five he got a srt he got this he got that he got a hellcat girl he got money like she loved that image of being the rich nigga's bitch she loved that but behind closed doors, that wasn't niche. This is her money that's paying for this flashy car. But she loves the idea of people thinking that it's his money. He taking care of the house. Okay. She also liked that, you know, whenever he fucked her over, he would give her gifts. But now that's that's done. That's not healing it no more. Okay. He, he can't bring these gifts in no more because money is getting tight. And she's out trying to seek info as to why his money is getting tight. She wondering what, wh why you ain't able to hustle like you used to, or why, why the checks ain't coming? Where's your money going to? She's asking questions she normally didn't have the chance to ask. Okay, so that's how that karmic is feeling. It's a silent breakup going on. It's getting ready to come out over the internet, but it ain't on the internet right now. Because they are kind of embarrassed that they didn't did all of this for nothing. Okay, they broke hearts, broke connections with their with children. Okay, 
they've done a lot just to end the relationship and it's a little embarrassing and they're both having a hard time accepting it but they know this is for the best so overall what's the energy of this the viewers person what are they feeling overall separation okay soulmate somebody is in a separation energy somebody's ex is in a separation energy they're separating from a lover due to their heart aching over you and due to and it and some of them they know they can't get you back they just want to separate from this connection because they can't stand to look at this karmic woman they're blaming her for why the relationship didn't work with you like how is it her fault this is this is how you know that this person is a narcissist. How is it my fault that you cheated and fell in love with somebody else and I was with you or I came after you however you came in and now it's my fault because she don't want you no more? And you, I, didn't, I, I wanted you to choose me, but I didn't make you choose me, okay? This masculine is also ready to separate because he want to be with his soulmate, which he feels is you. But it's too late for a lot of them because you're not willing to make the effort. Also, somebody's masculine is getting ready to make the effort to share this breakup with you they sharing the news they think you're going to be excited you're going to be jumping for joy they can get their little heart broken <laughs> when they get to you okay but this is happening very soon so watch out viewer okay love and light sorry my video was so long hopefully you guys watch it the full way through and you don't miss your messages okay i do get things out sometimes i get tangled in my words because the messages come in so quick for me. I be trying to get everything out so I don't forget something. Sometimes I get tangled up in my words, so bear with me. But love and light to everybody who watched this video. Make sure you sh uh, like my video. If you ain't even liked it already, please like my video. Make sure you comment um, how you feel about it. Like I said, no negative feedback. I don't care if you are trying to give me constructive criticism. I don't need it, okay? This is my channel. I want to put things out the way that I want to put it in a put it out. I wouldn't be Kiera's love tarot if I was doing things the way people think I should do. I would be Kiera in everybody's tarot, okay? I'm Kiera's love tarot. I do things the way I feel I should do it. If you guys feel like I'm not explaining something properly, um, it's a, you could let me know that in a way of not making me feel like you're trying to check me, okay? Because some people be going hard in them comments. But love and light to everybody, <laughs> Um, I hope everybody enjoyed my reading and make sure you turn on that bell so you don't miss another video. Love and light.